Hello there. All right, I'm going to show you one of the most important things you can learn on your ukulele, which is how to tune it. Because if you're not in tune, it's not a whole lot of fun to play. All right, so you know on the ukulele we have four strings and we count them like this. One, two, three, four, or four, three, two, one. Then we just got to get to know the pitches of those strings. So starting on string four, it goes G, C, E, A. I remember this with a silly mnemonic phrase that is good cats eat anchovies. Sometimes I'll say applesauce or something sillier like that, but that helps me remember what the pitches are. All right, so to tune, you can either use a tuner app, which uses a microphone on whatever smart device you have or computer, or I highly recommend investing the 10 to 20 bucks to get a clip-on tuner because this doesn't use a microphone. Some do, but it uses the vibration of your instrument. So if you're in a noisy environment playing with other musicians or you have screaming kids in the background, it's not going to hear any of that. It's just going to pick up your vibrations. So I'm going to do a couple tuning jobs with this. Here I have a snark, uh, specifically a super snark, not just any regular snark, but a super one. All right, so I'm going to get my G string in tune. And right there, it's telling me it's in tune. It's saying G and it's right in the middle but I'm going to knock it flat. And you can see that actually right there it said F sharp, so it was really low, and I want to go to the next letter of the alphabet, which is G. And you can see the red off to the left, which means I'm still flat, means, meaning I'm low in pitch, so I'm going to keep tuning until it rests right there in the middle, or somewhere close. Now as you tune your other strings, it might loosen up, so you have to go back and tune it again. If it's a brand new ukulele, you're going to have to tune it a lot to stretch out these nylon strings. But after a while, they settle in nicely, and then tuning is minimal. It's just maintenance at that point. If your string does need stretching, I do recommend holding down, say, the second fret, and then somewhere about where the neck meets the body. You just kind of pull on it to stretch it out. My strings are pretty old, so they stay in tune pretty well. I'm also going to do the A string. String number one. This one I'll go sharp. And here's my advice when you're too sharp on a note, meaning too high in pitch, is don't just drop down into the note because your string might be loose with slack. So I'll actually go flat and then tune up into it. The idea is that when you tune up into a note, you're increasing the tension on the string and the string should hold its tune a little bit better than if you loosen it or slacken it into the pitch. All right, so that is one way to tune your ukulele. Another way, if you happen to have a piano or a keyboard, is, is the middle C position. So middle C over here, let's see if I can get you over to my keyboard, should be string number three. The E above that, two white keys to the right, should be your second string E. And then two keys to the right of that, your G, should be string number four. And one white key to the right, the A, should be string number one. And if you just need a maintenance tune-up, let's say your A string's out of tune. I'm going to flatten it, because usually when you go out of tune from playing too much, it'll go flat. So for this, I'll use a reference point. So I'm gonna use the fifth fret of string two, which is also an A, and I'll play those together. And they should ring in unison, and they should sound very nice together, but this does not sound super nice. So I'm gonna play both notes, let it ring, take my picking hand, and tighten up my A string. And this is a little bit of ear training as well. Another reference point you can use to tune that A string would be the second fret of the G string. Let's say your E string is out of tune. Well, you could use the fourth fret of string three, which is an E note to tune your open E string. If you need to tune your G string, you can use the third fret of string two, which is also a G. Now, the trickiest one would be the C string. So the C string only has C 
that low C as its own pitch. So you got to use an octave unison to tune this one or use your tuner for that one. But an octave unison would be, let's say I played the third fret of string one. That's a C note along with the open C. They, sit, they share the same relative fundamental frequency, but one's higher and one's lower. But I'm going to knock it out of tune and tune up into it. Not in tune. Better. I might have gone too sharp on that one. That's better. And we're in tune. Alright, hopefully you found that helpful. Um, like, subscribe, share. Use this as your reference point. And just know tuning gets easier the more you do it. It might seem overwhelming at first, but trust me, it gets easier. All right, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Um, as always, have as much fun as you can playing this and come see me for some more videos.